Hey, in this video, we're going to take a look at a new bookmark manager called Cleary. And this is a, actually, I'm going to replace Toby with Cleary, and I'm going to show you why I'm going to do it in this video. So stay tuned. Hey everybody, this is David with TechSmart Boss here with another video. Today I'm going to take a look at this new bookmark manager named Clearly, and I think that's how you pronounce this. It's Q-L-E-A-R-L-Y dot com. Makes me think about the song I Can See Clearly, Now That The Rain Is Gone, but I'm not going to even try to sing it because I can't sing and I don't even want to put you through that. But this is this basically is a a modern bookmark manager as it says now we've talked about toby which is also a chrome extension in the past i've done a video on toby so check out the youtube channel for that i like toby but from what i hear and from what i see the the developers of toby have moved on and they're not really adding anything to it and the product has kind of been the same for like over the last year so what i like about this is these guys are actively pursuing this they've got a you know, a pricing model, they're trying to monetize it, and, you know, they're very reasonable pricing. Most people, I think, can really go with the free, um, what they call the beginner plan. You get many bookmarks as you want, but 15 boards, and I'm going to show you what those boards represent. 15 is actually a lot, I think. Uh, but then they have premium, they have some lifetime deals going on. So, what I, I do like their approach, and it's not drastically different from a Toby, except that instead of having the vertical display they got more of a column based tab approach but they also have those um, um, uh, also have those boards as they talk about now this is only going to work on chrome firefox and opera i think it also works on brave and any chromium based browser not going to work on ie or edge uh, so windows folks if you're still using ie or edge sorry and even safari you know it says right here that the new tab function of the extension doesn't work in Safari, so they're looking for some stuff like that. And they're working, they got a really nice roadmap that they're working on. In fact, I think they're they're kind of leaning to be more of like a a git a git shift type competitor because if you do put this little slash beta in their URL, you can kind of get a hint of what they're trying to build, which is which is really good. So something 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 to take a look at. Let's go ahead and install this and see how it works. I'm on Chrome which I normally, I don't do my videos on Chrome, but I'm going to do this one because it is a Chrome extension. Uh, I guess I could do Firefox, but let's, let's go ahead and install this in the Chrome store. I'm going to go ahead and add it to Chrome, add the extension. Adding extensions are, are really easy. Part of my issue with Chrome is that the, you get so many extensions on until it becomes slow and um, kind of a pain in the butt to work with but now all right so now here's their onboarding it, it pops right into it i haven't even set up an account or anything yet unless it defaulted to my chrome store account which i which i hope it didn't okay so i could import from the browser which i'm not going to do i'm going to go ahead and say we're going to add manually into some bookmarks here let's see next so this is nice it gives us a little demo environment with some boards already created and it is going to walk us through sort of what it, it looks like. I'm just going to, well, let's hit next a couple times and just see what it's doing here. Okay, I'm going to skip that. I, you know, I like to just click around and do things myself. Got a little celebration thing here going, a little gamification. Let's click, see if I can stop that. All right, so let's see what I've got. Let's look at profile, see what it did do there. Okay, so I have not signed up or, or logged in yet. So let's go ahead. Before I spend a lot of time setting this up, and I'm sure you could set it up and then sign up later, I'm going to go ahead and um, sign up for an account here. And I'll put my name in. And I'll put not my TechSmart Boss email, because guess what? I'm actually planning on using this for myself. So I'm going to put my primary email in. Of course, you could sign in with your social service. I don't like doing that. I like using good old email there. All right, so now... I am signed up. Now, I noticed in profile that they do have, you know, you could change to dark mode, which I kind of like uh, on that. Um, close tabs on save. There's a couple different open links and new tabs. Lots of cool things there. Now, I'm on my primary board. So, as I mentioned, you have the concept of additional boards here. Um, so, we'll, we'll figure out in a second how to create those. On each board, you have a set of columns that you can do. And then, from what I understand in their extension here, you know, I've got a couple tabs open here. Let's say I want to make a new, new column. Well, let's actually, 
before I even do that, let's click on their extension here. And you'll see that I've got all my, I've got the primary board listed here with all these columns. So I can quickly open all those items. And uh, I can open clearly. I can save all, let's save current. Okay, so let's see if I can, I can create a board here. So let's make a new board. I'm going to call this my, oh, that's creating columns. I don't want to do that. Unnamed board. How do I rename the board? Not and click it. This is a column name. I'm gonna call this just um, new software. So I can create a lot of columns there. Let's let's. Well, I'm not seeing where I can rename this board. So I would assume I could click in there and do something and rename the board. Maybe I got to do it over here. Okay, here we go. So now I think if I yeah, here we go. Okay, so this is my software software board. I'll just call it from that. Let's go back home here. So I'm just figuring this out on the fly, as you can see. And from what I understand, if I open up a new tab, it's taking that. Okay, here we go. So now I've got boards. Still got unnamed board there. I'll figure that out in a second. But now I've got some couple columns that I've created by default. Luckily, I can delete those rather easily. And what I was wanting to do is add in these tabs that I have open. So I've got product hunt, I've got beta list, I've got a couple different uh, app sumo. What I would like to be able to do is just quickly save those to this board. So what I'm going to do is just say save current. And then I'm going to click over here, say save current. And let's click back to app sumo, say save current. Let's see if that actually added those into the board there. So let's switch over to my unnamed board and there they are. So now the advantage of that, let's go ahead and close these now. I'll just close those up. Is now with one click I can say open and I've got all those tabs right there. And I can do my TechSmart boss due diligence and see what's going on out there. Um, so that's sort of the concept. Now I, 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 mean, I, I think I can change it here. Okay, here we go. Software board. All right, so you can just click in there and change it. So that took me a little bit of time. Well, did that work? Let's hit home. I still don't think. Yeah, it did. It did work. So now you'll see I've got software board there. So that's where you change the name. So a little bit of roughness right there. I mean, they are working on this. They're taking a lot of feedback in terms of their interface. But that's the concept. Now I can go through in my software board and make all sorts of new columns. I could make a work board. I can make a, a, a reading board, blog board, any kind of board you want. And like you'll see on their primary board as an example, they have, they just keep it all within one board. And that's why I say 15 boards are a lot. Just kind of think about how many tabs you want to, columns you want to add because you're going to be scrolling horizontally to get to these columns. And they're, they're working on some of that. But like work here, I can quickly say open and that's going to open up all my work-oriented tabs. And they've got, as an example here, MailChimp and Zapier. And let's see what else. They put Slack and some things like that. So you can kind of see that it's very easy to organize yourself so you don't have to keep your browser open all the time and keep those tabs there. Um, let's take a look at settings. So that's where I can duplicate. Okay, and then the sharing. That was another really nice feature of these boards. So let's say I want to share my software board. And I, I do a whole collection of... of of products I want to take a look at and things like that. Maybe I want to create a new column and say, you know, upcoming videos. This kind of has a Kanban type of style to it. So you can you can use it as a work in progress and a completed and things like that. If I want to share this, you'll see now I can take this entire board and share it with teammates or I can create a link. Let's go ahead and copy this link. And let's just see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and open up a incognito window here and just paste this in and see what happens and I think that it will yeah you'll see that now I can just share my board with all those columns and links right there and if they hit open then it'll open up those particular tabs as well you can just click on the tabs so that's really useful it's a great way I think to if you have if you're a tech smart boss and you're using a lot of SaaS apps in your business then that's a great way to give all your 
internal links, all your business oriented links in one place for your employees. So you can imagine you can put this link in your internal portal or something like that. And that's what I'm thinking about. You can also invite people, your teammates, if you do one of their premium plans and then be able to collaborate and share and do things much more actively together. So overall, I like this. This is going to become my new replacement for Toby. I'm going to continue to play around with it. I'm going to follow these guys and stay in tune with what they have planned uh, with that beta and the other things that they have going on. But take a look. I think you'll like it. It could be your new bookmark manager. If you like these kind of videos, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got a new video per week. And also check out our Facebook page and techsmartboss.com and see what we're doing out on the website. Talk to you in the next video.